Camden smells of smoke. I see passers-by slip through the rings, dog warriors on a cigarette storm, because here tattoos are the norm. They canvas crowds. A sky blue boy standing shirtless cries out to a gold gilded girl who sits shy but proud. A drifter grins from the gutter, convinced he's God's gift. Working a piece of two day old gum round his broken grimace, he's crammed into an overcoat, hands sewn into the pockets. He sweats but says he's preserving the day's warmth for the coming winter months. A boy ducks as he sees ghosts of girlfriends pass, parading midriffs bare towards Regent's Park. Camden's a beast, which would swallow you whole. Ignore the busker playing Radiohead's creep, his name is Johnny, a priest of rock and roll. Dressed in drain pipes and docks, he's 50 years young and six foot four small. Of Johnny, there's not much to tell, save dress sense and name. Johnny met the devil in Camden Town, was never heard of again. Punks wait. Placid, patient atop Camden Lock. Just above the crack dens, they offer photos to tourists at five quid a pop. I live 26 minutes north of this melting pot or salad bowl. I prefer to think of it as a stir fry, where things go so they won't rot. Here, fashion statements are fossilized. Parkway's the only place punk has not yet died. Here, Kurt Cobain never committed suicide, assisted or otherwise. Hendrix never choked on his own insides. Richie Edwards never disappeared, taken by the seven's tides. Here, Joe Strummer is still alive. By the roundhouse, he's immortalized. Camden calls everybody strange because people are strange when you're a stranger. Amidst this bullpit of bandits who brandish outlandish behavior, Camden's dying. The devil spills tears down the high road. They collect in the gutter and drown the grafters and the grifters, the pissers and the night shifters, the street walkers, the sweet talkers, the mystics and the critics, the dealers and the stealers, the teachers and the soapbox preachers, the homeless, the jobless, the pick pockets and the old rockers, the forget-me-nots, the forgotten sorts. Remember, when you walk through the streets of Camden, these renegades have families and the tragedy of bills to pay. That's why you find a Mohican malcontent holding a sign that says McDonald's 200 yards that way. <laughs>